Hey everybody, welcome back. We're in the beautiful Crystal River, Florida, here for a couple of nights to enjoy ourselves. And while we're here, I wanna talk about a couple of major upgrades that we just recently had done to our Kodiak travel trailer. Uh, one of those being the More Ride 3000 suspension kit for the, the axles here. So let's jump right in and I wanna to talk to you about it, tell you about my experience with it so far, and we'll show you what it looks like, okay? So during the month of December of 2021, we had our Kodiak at a couple places getting some upgrades, one being the solar system, which we have already shared, and I had a new awning put on. But the other thing that I had done during that month, and it was right before we took it to Carpenters, is I took it down to uh, Humphreys Trailers in Pensacola, local to us, and I had axle upgrades as well as the more ride suspension installed there as well whenever they did the axle. So that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. So let's jump right in here so you can see what we're talking about. And that is this system right here. It's the more ride suspension CRE 3000. This is the kit that fits ours. We have a 35 inch wheelbase. They make these systems for uh, many different travel trailers, fifth wheels, utility trailers, uh, pretty much any trailer system you have in different wheelbases, they make a kit for this. So ours being the CRE 3000. And I wanna say that I instantly felt the improvements of this kit on our travel trailer as, as immediately when I pulled it away from Humphreys, I could tell the difference. So you have this equalizer beam in here and you have a, what they call a rubber spring up inside here. I know it's a little hard to see. Let me if I can get you in there. You can see the rubber right here on each side. This provides, I think between two and three inches of suspension when this thing is doing its job. Whenever you're riding down the road and everything is moving, this creates suspension there, which greatly reduces the shock load whenever you're driving down the road and this guy is hitting bumps and uh, really hard transitions in the highway. In addition to this right here, you have these heavy duty shackles. They're much thicker than the standard, what comes on from the factory. And you also have, they're greasable too. So you have the greasable bolts here. You have bronze bushings in the beam on both sides and at the top. You have a greasable bolt there as well. So this is all greasable. And then on the ends, at the end of the leaf springs, you have a wet bolt here as well so that you can, so you can grease this side. Same thing over there on the opposite side. And while we're down here, let me point this out too. So we have brand new axles on here. If you follow our videos, you might remember when we were on our big haul that we stopped in Iowa at a Merrill wheel and axle and they replaced the, the rear axle for us. At the end of the big haul, the rear axle was bent just like the factory. So I knew that I needed to do something about this. Talked to Humphreys, <clears throat> asked them, could they do a, an axle beam upgrade for us, which they can. So what, we, what we've got here is the, I believe it's a 5,200 pound rated axle beam going from the, I believe it's two and three eighths diameter. I think this is close to three inch in diameter there. Okay, these are custom ordered so that we could utilize our five lug hubs, brakes, and wheels. So we didn't have to upgrade to the six lug. So saying that, this is not actually, they can't actually rate it and consider it a uh, 5,000 pound axle because of the axle stubs that they install from the factory and weld in utilizing the five lug hardware they still have to classify it as a 3,500 pound axle, which is the factory size that we had installed that was that came equipped. Um, but what this is gonna do is because of the larger beams, this is gonna greatly reduce the stress on the axles from bending like, the, like it did before. So I feel confident now that we have the suspension or the axles that we need. We upgraded to the, let's see, that was a five, one, two, three, four, five. So we have five leaf leaf springs that we installed when we were at Merrill Axle. So that's an upgrade over the factory there as well. And now we have our 5,000 pound uh, axle beams in there. And so far it's been working out great. So even though we don't have, you know, a ton of mileage on the Kodiak with the new suspension upgrades, 
We do have right about a thousand miles on it so far. We just went down to Fort Meade. I did the Florida Flywheeler Show. We went to Orlando and now we're here in Crystal River. We have another stop after this too. So we'll probably have about 14 to 1500 miles on the Kodiak after this trip, which is gonna be the initial run for the new axles and the more ride 3000 suspension. It has greatly improved the ride of our travel trailer. I was actually shocked at uh, how well it performed going down the highway. As soon as you get out on the road, you'll instantly notice a difference. So, you know, when you're pulling a trailer down the road, you, you never know what, what you're gonna come up on. You have, you have uh, places where the asphalt's missing, so you have those bumps that you hit, creates a lot of shock load. The biggest ones that I always experience whenever I'm pulling our trailer down the road is usually down the interstate or any kind of highway where you come up to a bridge and you have that transition between the road and the bridge and it hits really hard. And I pay attention every time I come up on a bridge, looking in the mirror and I can tell how well the suspension is working when I hit that transition. It's more like it floats over it nice and even. So that, that more ride suspension down there is doing its job and it's absorbing that shock load instead of transferring it into the camper and continuing to bend our axle beams down there. So I think it's working really well and this is gonna be a great, great upgrade for our travel trailer. And even though I've only got a thousand miles on it, I can already recommend that this would be an upgrade for any of you guys that are pulling a travel trailer out there. I did want to point out that this is a, a fairly simple do-it-yourself install kit for all you guys that like to do it yourself. Really all you need is a good heavy-duty floor jack and some jack stands and you can get your trailer supported properly and get in here and replace this stuff yourself. It's pretty much a bolt-in kit. But whenever I was having the axle beams replaced, they had this kit in stock and I asked them if they would just go ahead and install it at the same time, make my life a little bit easier and it's worked out really well. So I'd encourage any of you guys with a travel trailer, with a fifth wheel or any kind of trailer to consider making the upgrade to the more ride suspension. They have several different kits depending on your size trailer and your axle wheel base, all, all those things. You can go on their website, they have all the information there for you. And it's gonna greatly increase, increase your ride for your trailer. And you're gonna find that you're gonna have things inside that aren't bouncing and moving all over the place whenever you get there and it's gonna reduce the stress and load on your frame and your trailer itself. So great upgrade to make to the trailer and I'm really glad that I did. And this is gonna give me a lot more peace of mind when we're on the road traveling, especially making those long hauls. So I think that's about all I got to say about the new more ride suspension, but I really like the improvements that it's made to our trailer and we are ready for a lot more adventures, many more to come.